Greetings. My name is Yashun Prakash Vyas. My pronouns are he, him, his, and the Assistant Director for Diversity Resources in the Division of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. On behalf of the Division of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, and international programs, and our campus partners, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the inaugural International Students Affinity Graduation. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate our graduating international students, their achievements, and their achievements to come. Affinity celebrations like this one celebrate the perseverance and achievement in the face of historic and ongoing exclusion and marginalization. Today's event is to recognize and celebrate the collective experience and achievements of participating international students, to celebrate international educational interchange, and although virtually, to be in community. So let us start our celebration today by recognizing indigenous peoples as traditional stewards of this land. This recognition is the first step towards understanding the long-standing history that has brought us to reside on this land and to understand our place within this history. With permission from the University of Iowa's Native American Council, I will now read a land acknowledgement they have created. And in doing so, I also want to recognize my limitations and apologize for any mispronunciations. I can do better and I will do better. Meanwhile, I ask for your grace and forgiveness. The University of Iowa is located on the homelands of the Chippewa, Iowa, Kickapoo, Menominee, Miami, Missouri, Omaha, Osage, Otto, Ottawa, Ponca, Potawatomi, Sac and Fox, Dakota, Lakota, Nakoda, three affiliated tribes, and Winnebago nations. The following tribal nations, Omaha tribe of Nebraska and Iowa, Ponca tribe of Nebraska, Sac and Fox of the Mississippi in Iowa, and Winnebago tribe of Nebraska nations continue to thrive in the state of Iowa, and we continue to acknowledge them. As an academic institution, it is our responsibility to acknowledge the sovereignty and the traditional territories of these tribal nations and the treaties that were used to remove these tribal nations and the histories of disposition that have allowed for the growth of this institution since 1847. Consistent with the university's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, understanding the historical and current experiences of native peoples will help inform the work we do collectively as a university to engage in building relationships through academic scholarship, collaborative partnerships, community service, enrollment and retention efforts, acknowledging our past, our present and future native nations. Again, I want to acknowledge and thank the University of Iowa's Native American Council for their leadership and their work in our community in drafting and creating this land acknowledgement for our institution. Moving forward, this being a special occasion, we have requested Dr. Russell Ganem to share a few remarks with us. Dr. Ganem is Professor of French and Associate Provost and Dean of International Programs here at the University of Iowa. He joined the University of Iowa in 2011 as the director of the Division of World Languages, Literatures and Cultures and served in that position until 2019. He moved to international programs in 2020. Much of his career has been devoted to shared governance, including service as president of the UI Faculty Senate. Dr. Ganem holds a Bachelor of Arts degree from Grinnell College 
as well as a Master of Arts and a PhD from the University of Virginia. Dean Gannon is committed to advocating for international students, increasing study abroad opportunities, and promoting global education across the Iowa campus. Please help me welcome Dean Gannon. Thank you, Yashwant, and good evening, everyone. My name is Russ Gannon, and I am the Associate Provost and Dean of International Programs at the University of Iowa. It is a privilege to be here tonight and to offer my warmest congratulations upon your, congratulation, upon your graduation from the UI. You have shown remarkable resilience over your academic careers, and we are immensely proud of you. The challenges before you were enormous. In many cases, you were leaving home for the first time and arriving in a country where you did not know the customs or the culture. The university owes you a huge debt of gratitude and to you and your families for choosing Iowa and for committing to the institution over the course of your academic careers. The range of disciplines among tonight's graduates is most impressive and only underscores your willingness to constantly push yourselves and bring new knowledge to our institution. Our international students embody the very best of our university. You represent grit, determination, adaptability, and responsibility. Our international students contribute to the UI in innumerable ways through your thoughtful perspectives, global outlook, and overall courage in surmounting the obstacles before you. It is no secret that the last few years have been very difficult for international students. The pandemic and political uncertainty have caused untold stress, and we are still dealing with the upheaval caused by these harsh realities. At the same time, you have shown strength by continuing your studies, forging bonds with your friends, and maintaining your good cheer throughout the turmoil. In so doing, you have provided an example for the entire campus. The Iowa community should not only take heart from your toughness, but should learn from it. The character and persistence you have shown will serve you well as you transition to a new phase. And we deeply appreciate that you decided to share some of the most valuable time in your lives here at Iowa. We wish you well and will remember you fondly. Thank you friends for all you have given us. May we continue to learn from each other in the years ahead. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce our student speaker for this evening. Mia Q is graduating with majors in economics, marketing, and linguistics. During her time at the university, she was part of the International Student Advisory Board, the President's Charter Committee on Diversity, the Multicultural Business Student Association, and Students to Assist Recruitment. She received the 2021 Delta Sigma Pi Scholarship Key by having the highest GPA in the Tippie College of Business graduating class, and she has received multiple awards and nominations, including Tippie 2021 International Advocate Award and Honor Iowa Award. After graduation, Mia will be attending law school and having a career interest in, in international law. So, Mia. Thank you for all of your accomplishments. Thank you for attending the University of Iowa, and we will be delighted to hear your remarks. Thank you so much, Dr. Ganim. It is such an honor to be here today. And I'd like to start with a thank you to everyone who has made a lasting positive impact on not only my life, but the lives of all the international students at the university. I want to give sincere gratitude and appreciation to the faculty and staff members who have celebrated our individualities and supported us on this incredible journey. A lot has happened in this past year and it is not a hyperbole to say we were forced into a bizarre and new lifestyle. It was fast and slow, gloomy yet hopeful. For a moment, life played out like a 3D movie, except there was no rewind, no fast forward and no pause button. Thank goodness we have other streaming services. But within turbulence, there were also opportunities and from uncertainty born this moment. What we are celebrating today is particularly incredible, justifiably because of at least two reasons. The first, I hope all of us can agree, 
is that I imagine fewer celebrations to be more memorable than this one. We are officially the attendees of the very first inaugural international student affinity graduation in the university's history. Imagine years later, when you look back at this moment, what would you say to yourself? What, what would you think, what would you say happened in 2020? And do you feel the weight it carried? To be honest, I'm sure not every class gets to zoom in on this very special event, punfully intended, to applause the exemplary achievements of international students. The challenges and obstacles presented by the pandemic were unprecedented, to say the very least. And that is especially true for all of us who are far away from home. Frankly, it was very scary. Events were happening so quickly and ambiguity seemed unresolvable. Some of us perhaps chose to fly home last minute and some of us might, stayed, might have stayed in an apartment while the rest of us, myself included, were scrambling to figure out what to do. The time was truly unprecedented. But that is what makes the accomplishments we're celebrating here today remarkably significant. This graduation not only recognizes the excellent academic performance we uphold, it also is a recognition of the diligence, resiliency, and perseverance of a very special group of students. They had the bravery, courage, and grit to overcome the unprecedented. In case you haven't noticed, that is us. And here is the second reason that makes this moment unforgettably meaningful. It is not only a celebration of what we have achieved, but what we can achieve in the future, no matter the challenges and obstacles to come. Truthfully, I'm sure we all had quite a few figure it out moments during our studying abroad journey. For example, strange combinations of numbers and letters suddenly carried great significance. You see, not everyone encounters the sentence like refer to your I-20 or DS 2019 if you are a F-1 or J-1 student when completing Form 8843, applying for OPT or CPT. Furthermore, international students might give a complicated expression to a question like, if your visa is expired, why not applying for MasterCard? Studying abroad is a journey embellished with remarkable personal growth. Remember the first time you walked into a residence hall, the first time you visited a restaurant downtown, or the first time you found the auditorium of McBride Hall. Those seem to be small tasks, but we built up great independence and confidence through them. Gladly, we did not have to do it alone. But time flies, and suddenly many of these first are now becoming the last. You see, there unfortunately isn't an instruction menu on how to succeed as an international student in America. At least I think the International Students and Scholar Services did not put one in the orientation package. Yet we gather here today, bringing many treasured memories of a colorful and beautiful campus with us, continuing our incredible journey of many more firsts to come. Perhaps we don't need an instruction manual after all, because what the past years have taught us is that we are brilliant at writing our own. We have had an incredible journey leading to this unbelievable moment, but surely enough, it's just the beginning. So following the tradition of ending a speech with something inspirational, I leave you with this quote. If life is a 3D movie, we're most likely the scriptwriters. Not everything goes our way, but we move forward with confident and eager anticipation of what is to come. If the events are unprecedented, so are the accomplishments. Again, congratulations and thank you. Mia, thank you for your remarks. And uh, let me just add, I truly enjoyed your remarks. Uh, and many congratulations to you on your upcoming graduation. Now, although virtual, we have been very intentional in organizing today's event. Participating students have received graduation cards, which they can wear to their university graduation. The colors of the triple graduation card, white, light blue, and green are intentional. These colors signify the tabula rasa of commencement, the limitless of possibilities, and hope. Additionally, light blue and white 
together symbolize peace and the green color represents our planet Earth. We have prepared recognition gra uh, graphics for each of our participating students today. As we display these graphics and read student names, please feel free to share your congratulatory messages via the Q&A feature of this webinar. With that, Please help me welcome my colleague, Andrea Subhanman, to recognize our students. Thank you so much, Yashwant. I appreciate that. And it is my great honor to read the names tonight of, your, uh, of our students who are going to be graduating and in celebration of your academic achievement. So first name, Hariali. Kasundra, Doctor of Dental Surgery. The favorite memory at the University of Iowa, I have too many memories to choose from, but my most favorite one was in dental chair when patient cried after seeing her new smile when we completed her aesthetic treatment. Mohamed Muska Nataliansia. PhD in health management and policy. Favorite memory is the friendly and supportive environment which helped the learning process. MD, Rabiul Islam, PhD in chemistry. Favorite memory, walking through the streets around Kinnick Stadium in a Hawkeye football game day with my wife of course, before pandemic. Breno Silvestrini Rodriguez, Juris Doctor. A favorite memory, the first day I stepped into the BLB for my orientation week. Yusuhan Georgina Wong, Bachelor of Business Administration in Marketing. Favorite memory, watching sunsets with my friends on the Pentacrest and sipping on a cup of pink drink. Said Shamtug, Business Administration, Bachelor of Administration in Finance. Favorite memory, some of my favorite memories are the friends I met on campus, the Black in Business events, and classes that I enjoyed, especially Intro to Marketing Strategy with Nancy Abram. Madame Emad Jaradat, PhD in Oral Sciences. Favorite memory? The day I received my Operative Dentistry Certificate. Danielle Mitchell, Master of Science in Computer Engineering. Favorite memory, lectures in person. Run Ching Chi, PhD in Second Language Acquisition. Favorite memory, the collection of the books and the service of the University of Iowa Library is fantastic. In particular, the service of remote delivery and interlibrary loan really assisted me in achieving my academic success. Thank you so much. And thank you. Chandra Kumar Maharjan, PhD in pharmacology. Favorite memory, weekend soccer with friends. Navid Jadidol Islam, PhD in civil and environmental engineering. Favorite memory, playing soccer with my supervisor, Professor Krajewski. Yu Jia Lu. PhD in pharmacology. Favorite memory, summer jazz festival 
and serving other peers by working for Graduate Student Senate. Marisa Muller, Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering. Favorite memory, the one currently being made. Yi Yong Jiang, Juris Doctor. Favorite memory, studying in the Corel, playing fencing. Yufei Mia Ku, Bachelor of Arts in Linguistics, Bachelor of Business Administration in Economics and Marketing. Favorite memory, getting frozen yogurt with friends downtown, introducing campus to prospective students as an ambassador, and riding a bike alongside the Iowa River. Yi Xuan Wu, Bachelor of Arts in Finance. Favorite memory, taking ski course with my friend Xu Fan. With the Singhage Don Amit, PhD in Chemistry. Favorite memory, food festival at the Hubbard Park in 2015. Yung Jing Kong, Juris Doctor. Favorite memory? My favorite memory is that I worked on the clinical program. Monisha Mittal, Master of Science in Pathology. Favorite memory? Spending time at the Pentacrest. Yun Jun Kim, PhD, favorite memory, intellectual growth, making good friends, and many things. Yun Shen, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, favorite memory, my creative writing class in the first year. Bei Yun Cho, Bachelor of Business Administration in Finance. Favorite memory, beautiful sky and free life. Holly Alana Stevenson, PhD in Philosophy. Favorite memory, learning about myself and realizing I am stronger and more resilient than I or anyone else ever thought. Jonathan Bosliwa, Bachelor of Science in Astronomy and Physics. Favorite memory, friends made along the way in both academic and athletic spheres. Huang Ming Wing. Bachelor of Arts in Enterprise Leadership. Favorite memory, every one of you. Ji Wan Kim, PhD in Counselor Education and Supervision. Favorite memory, everything. Waruni Vindya Karunaratne. PhD in chemistry. Favorite memory? I fondly remember my participation at the annual food festival of the University of Iowa. There I got to dress up in the traditional Sri Lankan attire and serve authentic Sri Lankan food. I also got the chance to enjoy the food, music, and other performances native to several other countries. Nafisa Janat Binti, Master of Science in Urban and Regional Planning. Favorite memory? Looking far from the 
stairs of old Capitol building roaming around downtown after or in between class. We didn't have a lot of class in campus though. Flavia Rodriguez House, Master of Science, Urban and Regional Planning. Favorite memory, my favorite memory will be the times I spend with my friends, coworkers and professors. I am so proud and fortunate to be part of this amazing organization. Haikol Maud Hashim, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Favorite memory is the atmosphere. Danielle Odum, Master of Science in Actuarial Science. Favorite memory, Boxman Music Building. Krishna Murti Vasudevan Ayar, Master of Science in Computer Science. Favorite memory, discussions with Professor Pemraju in the summer of 2020 on distributed computing, learning the basics of piano in fall 2020. Kang J. Chong. Master of Law. Favorite memory? It's a good memory for me that I walk on the campus when the sun sets. Another unforgettable memory is the harsh winter season. Xiao Yu Yu, Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering. Favorite memory? Beautiful environment. Alade Aziz, Master of Science in Epidemiology. Favorite memory, made interesting friends. Ke Zheng Yi, Bachelor of Arts in Finance. Favorite memory, study and talk Spanish daily, participate in Spanish major, incorporate Spanish cultures with Spanish speakers, in particular, the Spanish and Latinos. Xin Ran Ni, Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics. Favorite memory? Lovely professors who helped me fight against difficult courses. Shu Wen Shu, Bachelor of uh, Business Administration. Favorite memory, playing ultimate frisbee with friends on the grass, meeting and studying together with friends in study area. Avinash Reddy Mudireddy, Master of Science in Computer Science. Favorite memory, walking along the riverside. Wang Bolin, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Favorite memory, working out with my friends in the gym. Rahaeb. El Lawati, Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Sciences. Favorite memory, doing my disability studies practicum at an elementary school in Iowa City. Sheila De Moray, Master of Science in Urban and Regional Planning. Favorite memory, watching a football game for the first time at Kinnick Stadium with my new friends. Chuo Austin Tong, Master of Arts in Geography. Favorite memory, walk across the river on an autumn day. John Rios, 
PhD in business analytics. Favorite memory? Having lunch outside Papa John building, enjoying a nice day in Iowa City. Dr. Mahruk Zafar, Master of Science in Dental Public Health. Favorite memory? When I walked through the corridor of Dental College and came across my picture there, it made my day. Jianning Yun, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Photography, Bachelor of Arts in Communication Studies. Favorite memory? At the University of Iowa is taking all kinds of art classes. The different professors I had, the different people I met during those classes really inspired me to build my own path in creating art. Karmjeet Gill, Doctor of Dental Surgery. Favorite memory? Graduation from University of Iowa. It was my dream to come abroad and graduate. I never thought it would be University of Iowa. I got lucky. Thank you, my friends, faculty, and especially my family from the bottom of my heart. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Andrea. I appreciate you joining us and recognizing our graduating students. Graduations are the happiest days at any campus. You know, remembering my graduations, yes, two of them, uh, they indeed were the happiest days. You know, on those days, I met the minimum uh, job qualifications and was hopeful that I will be uh, best positioned to pay off my student loans. Well, it's, it's weird to deliver remarks without an in-person audience, but I hope you found that funny. If you did, feel free to share that with us in the Q&A uh, feature of our webinar. But jokes aside, Graduations are indeed the happiest days because they are a celebration of a journey filled with adventures, hard work, many sleepless nights, shining victories, and also occasional dark core letdowns. So as you close a chapter in your lives, please take a moment to reflect and thank those who have contributed to your ability to arrive at this junction. I am proud of your accomplishments. And I hope as you feel a sense of accomplishment, you also feel a sense of responsibility. Responsibility to go into our world as curious, lifelong learners and participate as informed citizens. Education is more than just job training. Empowered by your education, serve as a voice for those who are unable to advocate for themselves. Broaden your reach because there is so much more work to be done. Maintain an understanding of the global interdependence to develop a global vision so you can appreciate your contributions to improving the world around you because our world benefits from the little bits of the work that many do, because those bits add up. So may there ever be your preoccupations. It is my earnest desire that through your work, our shared values will be extended and that our world will benefit from the goodly influence you generate. And as you lead your lives, please do not forget your humanity and the humanity of others. Again, many congratulations, and we look forward to all the wonderful and amazing things you're going to do for our world. Please take care. Namaste.